everyone and welcome to my channel. So today's video is going to be a very long overdue empties video. I have so much stuff. My bag was actually overflowing so I had to take some stuff out even and throw some stuff away that I didn't want to just because I felt like I really didn't need to review like q-tips or anything like that. But this bag was seriously overflowing. I don't even remember the last time I did an empties video but I have gathered up a lot of products uh, since then. So I definitely needed to do an empties video for sure because I have so many products to talk about. Uh, if it's products I have in all of my empties videos, I will kind of just blow through them because you guys know it's probably products I really, really like. But anyways, uh, I have a feeling this is going to be a long one because I have a ton of empties. So let's just get on to all of the empties. All right, so the first thing I'm going to talk about just to get out of the way because I have a ton of them are my Neutrogena Makeup Remover Cleansing Towelettes in the blue packaging, just the regular kind. I love these. I have one, two, three, four, five, six normal packs and a travel pack that I'm, I've used up and there's 25 in each of these and then seven in these. So I use these a lot. These are just awesome makeup remover wipes. They really get a lot of my makeup off. Sometimes I will admit they don't get off uh, all of my mascara, but if I really like do rub, they do get all of my makeup off. These are just great. I really like the amount of moisture they have in these. I just, I really, really like these and I've really liked these for a long, long time. Now some makeup remover wipes that I did not enjoy at all were these ones by Lumine Finland, I think, and these are the Sensitive Touch 3-in-1 Cleansing Wipes for face, eye, and lip makeup removal. Uh, so I got these at Ulta, and I got these because um, through Influencer I got a coupon to try out a Lumine product, and there wasn't really any other products I would try, but these ones actually re looked really appealing because it said it's claimed to be in, in cooperation with the Finnish Allergy and Asthma Federation, and if you, you probably don't know this, but I have allergies and asthma, uh, so that seemed really interesting, but it also like seemed a little bit puzzling just because why would that be important for makeup removing wipes, but... I thought I would try it out anyways, it seemed really interesting, and it also says they're fragrance free and they're for sensitive skin slash all skin types. And these came with 25 uh, wipes as well. So these wipes I just did not enjoy at all. I really, I don't want to say I hated these, but I just did not enjoy these wipes at all. I just felt like they were super dry, I could not get remove any makeup on my face with these. I even used these as removing like swatches off my skin and everything, and they didn't even really work for that. I just did not enjoy these at all and I, so I'm not sit bashing the brand or anything. I mean, I haven't tried any of their other products, so I bet they have some other awesome skincare products, but I really just did not like these, especially compared to my favorite Neutrogena ones. These are just so, so much better in my opinion. Another makeup remover that I absolutely love uh, is Bioderma. This is the Bioderma uh, cellular, micellar water, cellular solution, you, you guys know what this is. Um, this is the one with the pink bottle, so it's for sensitive skin. I get mine off of beautylish.com. Um, it's, it's probably the most reliable website to get this nowadays, and I think they have even, even other, uh, formulas for other skin types, but I just get the one that's the normal pink cap. I love this stuff. It literally feels like water on my skin. It takes off all of my makeup. It's, it's amazing. I love this, and I already have one that I am using in my bathroom right now. Another one of my absolute favorite skincare products, this is one of my holy grail skincare products, um, and this is from Lush, and this is the Tea Tree Water Toner Water. I love this stuff. I've actually been out of this for such a long time and haven't had the time to repurchase it that my skin has kind of been freaking out. Like, I don't know what it is about this water, but, or this toner, I guess, it's technically, it's a toner water. I don't know what it is about this stuff, but it really does improve my skin and reduces my acne me and oiliness and all of that. I really, really love this stuff. I also really like the nozzle on here. It's a really nice sprayer. And since it's bought, made uh, by Lush, it's made from some really good ingredients. You know, great for water, obviously tea tree water. I love this stuff so much. It's so worth the money, especially if you have oily or acne prone skin. I love, love this stuff so much. All right, so moving along with other skincare products, um, the next one I have here is from Neutrogena, and this is the Rapid Clear Acne Eliminating Spot Gel. Um, now this one I actually 
I don't really use, I use a spot gel, but I usually don't use this specific one from Neutrogena. I usually use the Neutrogena, it's the Rapid Clear, it's like the Fight and Fade gel, but unfortunately they discontinued it, and I loved that stuff so much. It just really helped my acne, but they freaking discontinued it. Neutrogena, why did you do that? Um, but when I bought this, I didn't think they discontinued it yet, so I was like, oh, they have this in the store, so I'll just buy it. It was okay, but I just do not like it as much as my Fight and Fade gel. I wish they would bring it back. I know it could be on like eBay and stuff, but I just want them to bring it back because it really worked for my skin. Now this one worked too. Um, it does have, you know, salicylic acid in it, so it worked just as fine, but I just don't like it as much as my Neutrogena Fight and Fade gel that they freaking discontinued. Um, so I am currently like on the hunt for a really nice, uh, acne spot gel. Um, I My skin works really well with salicylic acid, so if you, any of you guys have any recommendations for a uh, spot gel, um, I would prefer something that's inexpensive, but if it's not, I totally will, you know, think about purchasing it. But if, if you guys have any suggestions uh, for salicylic spot treatments, then please let me know down in the comments down below. The next product I have here is a deluxe size cleanser, and this is the Bosha Detoxifying Black Cleanser, and I also have here uh, this little sponge here that kind of goes with it. I got both of these in a Play by Sephora box a while ago, probably over a year ago, but I decided to try it over the holidays, so this is a really, really old empty. But I just didn't really enjoy this as much. As most of you know, I love my Neutrogena Cream Cleanser. That stuff is amazing. It works so well for my skin. This didn't do anything terrible to my skin, but I just didn't really notice anything different with my skin and um this I use my Clarisonic so this didn't really it these these are okay I mean if if these work for you awesome but these just these just didn't really do much for my skin to be quite honest I will say when you first apply this cleanser it does have a warming sensation which is really nice um but other than that it didn't it didn't really do much for my skin Next here I have yet another makeup remover and this is from Bliss and this is the Fabulous Makeup Melt Gel to Oil Cleanser. Uh, I really do, did like this. It wasn't my absolute favorite like oil cleanser. This is kind of like the Bosha oil cleanser and I feel like there's other brands that do this but it's it's similar to that one where it's just kind of like it starts out as an oil and then you rub it in and you use it as it's a cleanser but it's mostly used to remove makeup uh, and I really did like this. I got this on sale uh, at Nordstrom Rack so I thought I would pick it up and it was just a nice deluxe size so I thought that would work out since you know I don't know if I love the product or not and I did like this but I definitely think I like the Bosha one better and I definitely like you know like my Bioderma better as a makeup remover. I also really like the Purity Made Simple Cleanser that's not an oil makeup remover but it is a cleanser that can remove makeup at least on me. I definitely like the philosophy one or the Bosha cleansing oil a lot better than this one but if you if you do have this one I mean I I liked it and I felt like it worked but I just liked those other ones better if you know what I'm saying I also have here a couple moisturizers first here I have one from Tarte and this is the maracuja oil I actually really liked this I don't think I would go and repurchase it just because I have oily skin I don't tend to use oils a lot but I really really did like this on my skin my skin is a lot more oily so it wasn't like my absolute favorite moisturizer on my face I did like it on my face but I actually really liked it on uh, my body as well in other parts of my body. I just thought it really moisturized my skin really nicely. I don't think I would go out and repurchase a full size of it, but I really did like this and I would recommend you trying it if you're interested in interested in this product. <laughs> Sorry. And then the next moisturizer I have here is from Ole Henriksen, and this is a sample of the Sheer Transformation Face Cream. And I actually really, really liked this stuff a lot. As you can see, it's completely gone, but I really, really liked this stuff for my skin. I just, it was just a nice, like, it wasn't a super lightweight cream, but it wasn't a super heavy cream. It was just kind of right in the middle. It really moisturized my skin. It's just a really good, nice, basic moisturizer and I don't know if I would repurchase it but I definitely would put it on there to maybe repurchase at some point in my life because I really really did like this. Next here I have an eye cream and this is from 100% Pure and this is the Coffee Bean Caffeine Eye Cream for Dark Circles and Puffiness. I think I got this in a birch box a while ago um, so I've it's been a while since I got this but this 
eye cream has a ton of product. I mean, this, I don't know if this is a sample or a full size. I wouldn't be surprised if this was a full size because this stuff had a lot of product. It took me forever to use this product. As you can see, I like cut it open and I, I can't believe I finished this because this took me forever to use up. I thought it was a nice eye cream, but it wasn't, it didn't blow me away. It's by the brand 100% Pure, so it has more natural ingredients. It says here it's 100% natural and 100% vegan. So if you're into like having beauty products that are, you know, vegan and natural and all of that, I definitely think this is a really nice product. But for me, I mean, it definitely is a bonus to have products that have more natural ingredients and all of that but it's not my number one main concern. So I liked this eye cream, but I don't think I would repurchase it just because one, it took me so long to use, and two, it just, it, it didn't blow me away as an eye cream, you know what I mean? Most of the time, I really just like using a moisturizer underneath my eyes. I mean, I do like trying out eye creams. And then next here, I have some masks and treatment type things. So the first one I have here is from Origins. This is a sample, and this is the Drink Up Intensive Overnight Mask. So this is a, clear mask that's used to moisturize your skin. So this isn't really for my skin type, but you can either put it on as like a moisturizer and leave it on overnight, or you can uh, wash it off like a mask. Um, I, I, I finished this so long ago, so I don't really remember how I felt about this, to be quite honest, but I definitely feel like it didn't do anything bad to my skin. I felt like it was a little bit like thick on my, it wasn't thick, but sort of just like, it definitely felt like there was a layer of something on my skin, and I didn't really like that. If you had really dry skin, um, you might like this a little bit better than I did. I feel like it didn't really do anything for my skin, I guess, just because I have oily skin, but if you have dry skin, I really think this would work out for you a lot better than it did for me. It was just kind of okay, but it didn't really, it didn't really do much for me. And then next here, I have a box of the Be Your Ultra Deep Cleansing Pore Strips. Uh, so these, I feel like I, I have sort of a love-hate relationship with. I do like these, but I feel like every time I use these, I don't get as much gunk out of like my nose. And I think, did this one have chin one? There's ones that have like nose and like chin strips too. I think this just was nose strips. Um, but I feel like Whenever I use these, I feel like I don't get out as much gunk on my nose as I want or think I have. Like there are times where I use this and then I remove it and then I feel like I still see gunk or like can get gunk out of my nose that this can't. So I really like the concept of like getting your pores out obviously and all of that, but maybe I should try a different product. I know that um, Cassie from Thrift Fic, if you have not watched her channel, I really highly recommend it. I really love her channel. She reviewed a while ago this one that she got from Amazon that was from, it was like a Korean beauty skincare blackhead removing thing, and that one looked so good. So I think I definitely want to try that out next instead of these, but if you've never tried like pore cleansing strips or anything like that, I would try these just to kind of dip your toe into it, and I feel like they do work, but... I don't know, they just don't work as well for me, I guess. And then the last sort of skincare related thing is from Clean and Clear, and these are the oil absorbing sheets. My, as you probably know from the, from this video, I have oily skin, so these are these definitely come in handy. I always have this in my backpack or my purse. These are just so great and nice to you know travel with. They really get a lot of my oil out. They do sometimes get some of my makeup off, but I mean. I kind of like that because, you know, sometimes your makeup can look cakey and all of that, but I really, really do like these. I also like the Target ones as well, but the Clean and Clear, these are like the OG oil absorbing sheets and for good reason. And next here I have another oil sample and this is from Milk Makeup and this is the Sunshine Oil. And this is del a deluxe sample that I got in a Play by Sephora box a while ago. Uh, I actually really did like this. I think I used this on my body and I really did like it. It was nice and moisturizing on my skin. Even though I have an oily face, I have pretty dry skin everywhere else. So I feel like I, from what I remember, this did work really nice. It says it has a blend of moisturizing natural oils Grape seed, avocado, grapefruit peel, tangerine peel, mandarin orange peel, and lemon peel oil. So it has some really nice ingredients that moisturize your skin. And the packaging is really interesting. It's just like a little like package that you screw off. I just think the packaging is really interesting. And then even the little like thing that it comes in, I think is actually like 
kind of cute. I haven't tried a lot of other things from Milk Makeup. Oh, I do have their, like, a sample of their brow pencil that I think I also got from a Play by Sephora box. Um, so that's the extent to which I've tried Milk Makeup, but I know that this is a pretty popular brand for YouTubers to try out and everything. But I really did enjoy this sunshine oil and I really did like it. I also have here some body wash. So I have these two right here. This is a travel size of the Olay Ultra Moisture with Shea Butter. And this is the Dove Deep Moisture Nourishing Body Wash. Um, I think they're both pretty good. They're pretty, they're both pretty much the same thing. This one I really only got because I needed a body wash to travel with. Because my skin is so particular, I feel like I really can only use body washes that are moisturizing or for sensitive skin. I cannot use the Bath and Body Works shower gels. Those literally make my skin go bananas. Like, I cannot use those. So I have to use ones like these. Like, I, I usually use the Dove ones. I really love the, this Dove Deep Moisture one. And I also really like the sensitive skin ones. Uh, so this one I'll probably definitely be repurchasing. I really do like the Dove body washes. And I also really like, I tried their new, they have this in like a foam version. And I actually really liked that. So I definitely would highly re recommend the Dove body washes. And the Olay one was really nice too, but um, I mean, I only used it because I got it to travel with. It works just fine with my skin, but I think I'll, I usually just repurchase the Dove one. So I think I'll probably repurchase this. If I got this, like, if I happen to get this, like, or if a family member bought this one, I wouldn't be upset, but I definitely, I usually use the Dove ones. That's the one I repurchase the most often. I have two body scrubs here. First, I have this one from Lush, and this is the Ocean Salt face and body scrub. I really do like this. Um, I don't know if you can, see, yeah, you can't see in here, but it's, it's like a really beautiful, like ocean blue color when you first open it. And I really do like this scrub and I like it because it's a little bit more like natural and it comes in a really big tub. But the one thing I don't like about it is, is when you first open it, you have to sort of like mix it together because all of the salts at the top and then all of the like rest of the scrubs at the bottom. So you have to sort of mix it together, but it's sort of hard to just with your fingers sometimes you'll get more of the salt uh, more of the scrubby part and then less of the scrubby part at some points but other than that I really do like this if I got this again I definitely wouldn't be upset and because I always you know go to Lush to get this toner I usually get the ocean salt scrub as well because it's just a good body scrub for you know a variety of purposes so I feel like I definitely would repurchase that sometime in the future and then the next body scrub I have here is from Philosophy, and this is the Amazing Grace Hot Salt Tub and Shower Scrub. This one I actually uh, got from my mom. I don't know how my mom got this. She really does like the Philosophy Amazing Grace scent, so I think she got like a gift set or something. And she wasn't using this in her shower, so I kind of stole it from her because she wasn't using it and I was using it. It's okay. I, I honestly like the Lush one better. Uh, so I wouldn't go out and out of my, I wouldn't go out of my way to purchase this or anything, especially since I think it has a scent to it, uh, obviously, and I can't smell. Um, but it didn't do anything bad to my skin or anything. But I just definitely would repurchase this over this, or maybe try out another body scrub. And then the last sort of skincare body care thing I have is from Bliss, and this is the Ingrown Eliminating Pads. And so what these are, these are just little pads that I don't have any left in here. These are for like ingrown hair anywhere, like where you shave basically. And so this is gonna be a little TMI, but I use this on my bikini line. So, um, cause I feel like whenever I shave that area, it becomes really irritated. I get a lot of ingrown hairs and stuff like that. So I use these pads around that area and it really helps just soothe it and get rid of those ingrown uh, hairs. And it really does work. I'm not sure exactly what ingredients are in this. Oh, it says salicylic and glycolic acid. So it's just really good like skincare acids to like unclog those pores and those ingrown hairs and stuff like that and I really do think this works but I did also try the tend what is it called like tend skin but I tried that recently uh, while I was on vacation in Florida and I really liked that one as well so I think I would probably go out and repurchase that one over this just because these are pads and I feel like they're a little bit more wasteful 
um, because there are pads and there's only so many pads in here. But I really did like this and it did work for my ingrown hairs near my bikini line. All right, so next we're going to move on to makeup. So I actually have quite a few makeup products in here, like more than I usually do in a lot of my empties. So first, let's start out with a couple of mascaras. So I have here two mascaras. I have here the Max Factor Masterpiece Max High Volume and Definition Mascara in Velvet Black. And I got this through Influencer, and I actually really, really liked this mascara. It's not my absolute favorite mascara, but I really, really enjoyed using it. So I would maybe contemplating purchase it, purchasing it, but I haven't seen it in a lot of drugstores really around. But I really did like this mascara, so if you see this, I would, I really would recommend purchasing it and trying it out. And then next year I have the CoverGirl, the Super Sizer Mascara. Now I feel like everyone talks about this on YouTube, and I think for good reason. I really, really do like, did like this mascara. Now, I'm not sure if I would repurchase it just because I have so many mascaras right now to try, uh, but I really, really did enjoy using this, this mascara, and I really do like CoverGirl mascaras as a whole in general for my eyelashes, so I definitely would think about going out and repurchasing this mascara. Next here I have a couple foundation products. Um, so first here I have the IT Cosmetics Your Skin But Better CC Plus Cream, and I, I really did like this. I don't think I would go out and repurchase it just because it was a little bit glowy for my skin type, but the shade match was good. Uh, I really like how it has a pump on it, and I just it was just really easy to wear every day for school because it does have SPF 50 plus UVA and UVB, uh, so that was really nice, and it was just nice and lightweight, but yet it still had a good amount of coverage. I would say it has like a medium amount of coverage. You could even go full with this stuff. Like, even though it's a CC cream, it has, it really does have a good amount of coverage like everyone else says it does. Like I said, I don't think I'd go out and repurchase it, but I really did like it. If I got it again, I definitely would use it. I'm in the shade Fair. It's not my absolute favorite, but I really, really did like it. And the next foundation here I have is actually a sample, uh, and this is the Makeup Forever Ultra HD foundation, and I'm the shade 115, at least in the old HD formula, and I forget what the new number is. I think it's like R230 or something, but anyways, I really liked this foundation a lot. Um, I actually used to own the original HD foundation, and I feel like I actually like this a little bit better. Uh, to be quite honest. At first I thought they were, I mean they're very similar. They're very similar formulas, but I feel like I definitely like this one better maybe because I actually still have the original HD foundation and it's probably because that one is getting a little bit old, so I feel like this one was a little bit better. But I definitely would think about repurchasing the, this one. It looked really nice uh, on my skin and the color match is really good. So I definitely would contemplate repurchase, or purchasing this. Next here I have a face powder and this is the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless uh, Powder in the shade 100 Translucent and this was in my project use it up for last year but I didn't quite finish it up last year but I did finish it this year which is good and it's completely done. I did have to repress it to get all of the product out but I can't believe I finally finished it. It's um, nice to get a uh, powder out of the way. I literally am so low on like my foundations and powders and stuff like that. It's, I guess it's just because they're not as fun to repurchase in my opinion so uh, versus like eyeshadow palettes like eyeshadow palettes always get me I feel like I can never have enough eyeshadow palettes but like foundations and powders and concealers like that's just not really that fun for me to repurchase I'd rather repurchase or purchase something like more fun like lipsticks and eyeshadows it was a really nice uh, face powder I don't know if I'd go and repurchase it just because there are actually a lot of drugstore face powders that I really like I feel like there are, there are so many that I've tried from the drugstore face powder wise that I actually really enjoy and this is definitely one of them um, but I don't know if I'd repurchase it just because it is a little bit mattifying but I mean I like that because I mean I, I like a matte effect because I have oily skin so I did like this powder but I'm just not sure if I would repurchase it just because there's a lot of other good face powders out there and then last here I have a couple eye and eyebrow products so first let's go to this little eyeliner this is the noir eyeliner forever noir eyeliner that's how much is left um, I can still swatch it so it's a really nice black color I really did enjoy this eyeliner a lot I got it in a birch box a long time ago and this was I think in my project use it up for last year and yes there is still product in there but I can't 
sharpen it anymore and I just have so many pencil eyeliners to go through that I thought this one should just be done it was really nice I thought the it was really pigmented and really nice on my eyes but I have a lot of I have a lot of uh, eyeliner so I don't think I'm gonna repurchase this one anytime soon but I really did like it and the next couple of products I'm going to show you are some of my favorite products so the first one I have here is the benefit gimme brow and this is in the shade light medium and this is just a uh, brow gel that's colored and this is in the old packaging that they have even which I actually like a little bit better than the uh, new packaging that I have out but I really 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 like this stuff a lot I have pretty uh, good thick eyebrows like as is so I don't need to do a ton to my eyebrows so this is a really really great uh, eyebrow product for me just to sort of straighten things out and make my hairs look nice and add a little bit of pigment uh, to my eyebrows I really really did enjoy this and I definitely would repurchase it or I'd like to repurchase the essence one essence has a really uh, similar product at Ulta so I definitely would repurchase that one since this one is really expensive but I really 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 like this product and then the last makeup product, which is another one of my favorites, is the NARS Pro Prime Smudge Proof Eyeshadow Base. I literally just finished this up today. There's probably like still a little bit that I could use up in here, but it's for the most part gone. I even took out the stopper and used a little scraper thing to get all the rest of the bottom out um, because I really do like this eyeshadow primer and it's an expensive eyeshadow primer, but I really, really do like it. I have oily eyelids and this is literally amazing to stop creasing. It is um, a clear uh, eyeshadow primer, but I just, I love this stuff so much and it really stops creasing on my eyes and just makes my eyeshadow look great throughout the entire day. And then the last set of products I have here are all hair care products and then we'll be done with my empties. Uh, so first here, let's start with a shampoo and conditioner duo that I have, or at least I used as a duo, and these are from Nexus. And this one is the Diametris Shampoo with Green Tea Extract. I really do like this uh, stuff. And then also the Nexus Pro Mend conditioner with flaxseed oil. So the, this shampoo and conditioner technically doesn't go together in Nexus's line, but I like it for my hair because I like volume in my shampoo and I like moisturization uh, for like the ends of my hair and my conditioner. So I really do like these two together. Um, and I really do like these the quality of these Nexus shampoo and conditioners. I did feel like they uh, they changed the packaging, but I think with that they also changed the formula within the past year or two. So it's it was it hasn't been as good as it was like a few years ago, but it's still you know really good quality shampoos, conditioners, and I really really liked these a lot. And I definitely would think about repurchasing these, but they are a little bit pricey. You can get them at like the drugstore, but they're a little bit pricey in my opinion. And then next here I have some travel style shampoo and conditioner and these are from the brand Temple Spa and this is the Good Hair Day Frequent Use Shampoo and this is the In Good Condition Hair Conditioner and I got these again in Birchbox a long time ago and I use these to travel. Uh, recently I went in March uh, on a trip with Concert Choir um, where we went traveling so I brought a lot of like travel size things like the body wash and then these two things. And I really liked the concept of this shampoo because I do shampoo my hair every day so like a frequent use shampoo sounded like an interesting concept but I, to be quite honest these kind of reminded me I think of like you know health hotel shampoo and conditioners they didn't really do much for my hair. It was a little bit like a step up from hotel shampoo and conditioner but like I mean, I don't think I'd go and repurchase these. I don't remember them doing amazing things for my hair. And then the last shampoo I have here is from Clairol, and this is the Hair Food uh, Root Cleansing Shampoo infused with strawberry ginger fragrance. This was like one of the first products I got through Influencer in like April 2015. I don't know how I remember that, but I do. But this is a humongous bottle, and um, it took me so long to use because I would keep this uh, here at home. Uh, while I was at school, I wouldn't take this to school with me, so it definitely would have gotten finished faster if I like took them between two places, but I didn't. But I finally have it finished. I did enjoy using this as like a purifying shampoo or like a yeah, root cleansing shampoo. This wasn't like a daily shampoo for me, but I felt like I could use it as a daily shampoo, I guess. I'm really thankful that Influencer gave me like a huge full size of it, and I did like using it, but it wasn't my absolute favorite. It does have, I can't smell that well, but it does have like, it definitely, I can tell, has like a strong fragrance to it. I'm assuming it's like the strawberry in here, so I can 
like notice that even though I can't smell that well so that must mean it's pretty strong um, but I did like using it I don't think I would go out and repurchase it but I did enjoy using it and it also says here it's silicone free paraben free and mineral oil free um, so yeah I did enjoy using it but I wouldn't go out of my way to repurchase this item next here I have a dry shampoo and this is the Oribe, Oribe, I forget how to pronounce this brand, and it's their Gold Less Dry Shampoo, and I had, I got quite a few, like, deluxe sizes of this. To be quite honest, like, my Dove Dry Shampoo is way better than this, in my opinion. Like, the Oribe line is so expensive, and I definitely think they do have products that are worth the money, um, but I can get, like, a Dove Dry Shampoo or another dry shampoo that works way, way better than this for a lot cheaper, so... Yeah, I didn't really enjoy this as much as some other cheaper dry shampoo alternatives. And then next here, I have a product from Not Your Mother's, and this is the Way to Grow Leave-In Conditioner. I also got this from an influencer. Since I've been mentioning influencers so much in this video, I will put a link to my influencer down below so you can go up and sign up for yourself to receive some free products. But I really did like this product. I really do like leave-in conditioners for like the ends of my hair because they do get really dry and get split ends, often because I have long hair. Um, um, so I really did enjoy this, but I don't think I would go out of my way to again repurchase it, repurchase. I wouldn't go out of my way to repurchase it, but I really, really did enjoy liking it. I'm not really super picky with leave-in conditioners unless they're like super heavy or something like that. So I really did enjoy using this product. And then the last product in this really, really long empties video is this hair product. And I saved the best for last. This is the Amica Bombshell Blowout Spray with Sea Buckthorn Berry. And I got this in a birch box a long time ago. And oh my gosh, I love this stuff so much. I definitely am going to repurchase it at some point. Um, so what I do is I spray this in my hair when it's damp before I blow dry it. And it just gives me so much volume. It doesn't feel like too thick or crunchy on my hair. It just gives my hair like a nice blowout and gives it some volume. I really, really like this stuff a lot. And I definitely would go out and repurchase it. I really, really enjoy this product a lot. And I got this so long ago in Birchbox and it's lasted quite a while. I mean, I don't use it all the time just because I mostly use it for special occasions if I take a shower and then like I blow dry my hair before I go out or something. But I really, really liked this stuff a lot. So I'm definitely going to be repurchasing this sometime in the near future. All right, so that was everything in this empties video. I, I just, I don't know exactly how long this video will be, but I'm assuming this is a long video because I had so many products to talk about, but I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video, and if you did, give it a thumbs up down below, and also click that subscribe button down below, or at this end card here, click the subscribe there, uh, and also watch some of my other videos that will pop up on the screen right now. So I hope you guys all have a wonderful day, and I'll see you later. Bye, everyone.